All right, let's have a look at uh, Heroes of, Against the Red Star again. Uh, one, of the, one of the fantastic things about tactical games is sometimes you strike a scenario that is so gripping that you want to just set it up and, and replay it straight away. Uh, it might be because of the narrative it generated or it might be because of the tight gameplay or whatever whatever the, the compelling reason is. This is one of those scenarios. I just finished playing through... Uh, three turns of the four-turn scenario, realized that the French had uh, won so convincingly that it was game over, immediately set it up, and we've played through the first turn, and now we're running through part of the second turn. And uh, it's also looking like it's going to be another compelling uh, French Foreign Legion victory in this hypothetical World War III uh, module <clears throat> from Lock and Low Tactical. And so... The, the deal here, the reason why this is so interesting, it's while it's only a four-turn scenario, the, the mood and the, the, I guess, the run of the scenario is pretty much decided in the first turn, or if not the first turn, in the, in the second turn. Uh, there's a quick reaction force of helos with four squads of Soviets that in the second turn, if they get initiative, they can come onto the board activate uh, block any exit uh, or shoot at units that might be in the open as the case may be i've got most of these guys under cover so they're all good to go but if they want to get off the map they're going to have to run the gauntlet or take out the helos to to sort of deal with things so the scenario the premise is that it's an ambush and in this particular instance i had reconfigured the trucks and where the trucks were in uh in the convoy to try and mitigate some of the damage that was occurred, that occurred the first time uh, i played about lieutenant sharp no relation uh I think he's a young happy looking chap isn't he unlike my uh, bedraggled self and uh another leader here was here this was brown was here with the with the appealer which is an at weapon but nevertheless it's got an he value and we can fire at the trucks and the shilka that was here we had a shilka here as well the opening turn that the french obviously have initiative they blasted the daylights out of uh vehicles and uh really went to town on on the enemy so in in the initial activation these these two stacks opened up killed two units and then the French, uh, the French brought up the Shulka was in the rear, I believe. They brought the Shulka up, killed uh, Sergeant Brown. He fulfilled his duty, and then uh, we had other units over here that uh, that came into action and took took out a truck here and things things of that nature. So <clears throat> very quickly we can see that depending on who got the initiative in turn two, uh, it was going to be almost lights out for the Soviets because. One of the one of the actions in game turn one was exiting units off the map, which uh, which gives us a multiplier effect for the VPs that we accumulate for killing the trucks. And the Soviet. So in turn two, when these helos arrive, this sort of QRF uh, deal arrives, we want to be if they arrive and we get initiative, we're in good shape. If uh, the French get initiative, well, the French could quickly run these guys off the board as well they have to exit i think it, i think it's this hex here they have to exit off so they can they can with six movement points they can make it off pretty pretty quickly and uh, that leaves our hero and this unit here with uh, uh like kind of a it's like a law an apav is like a law and with those guys there the reason why we would want to leave them there is so that no that we get some sort of opportunity fire on vehicles trying to exit this map and follow on map and anything that comes off this way is deducted against the french total vps so we want to leave some guy have a few leave behinds to try and slow down the effort so maybe here if these guys tried to roll by or roll up and attack, I get a shot at them. And if I can kill that unit, then that means there's only one or two vehicles left that can do any damage to me. I've also got this one unit left here. He, he took a shot at the uh, at the truck back there and, and, and took it out. Uh, I think it was a truck, yep. 
and that and he might then have an opportunity to do some sort of close assault this this coming turn into one or both of those hexes depending on on how things roll out so it became very very clear once we knew that the french had initiative that it was pretty much over for the soviets because i get these these guys off the board that's going to give us a minimum of 24 vps which would uh make it a ferric victory for the French, but any additional units I kill, vehicles or etc., will will bump me up into the significant French victory, which is good enough for government work for me. Uh, I don't need to get to the crushing French victory, which is 40 VPs, that'd be a total wipeout, right? Um, I make, it make, depends, of course, in the second turn, what these little Soviet uh, helos could do. Assuming that these guys were off the map, right? Uh, then it really, they have a, a pretty limited number of units that they could target, first of all. But then uh, their their ability to be effective or, uh, I don't know, uh, you know, impose their will upon getting these units off the board. I don't know how effective they could be. Maybe they could drop these guys right here and close assault into this hex, something like that, so that all these guys got off. So if all these guys got off, that'd be six VPs, and then it'd drop it down to a Ferric victory, which, you know, for the French, no offense, maybe they'd be happy with that. But you can see that there's a lot of tension in this little scenario, and it's only two turns in. It's got uh, all the all the requisite bits and pieces. We've got uh, ATGM, ATGM weapons. You know, we've got the MGs. You've got the uh, MI8s. You've got uh, BMP or BTRs and BRDMs and all sorts of good fun stuff. Shilkers. So lots of cool stuff going on and uh, really enjoyed this scenario and I just wanted to sort of lay that out there and let you guys know that I was having uh, having a bit of a blast with all this action so anyway I've rambled on long enough talk to you guys soon ciao